Hi everybody, Cindy Ellis here from Cindy's Stamping Studio. I'm located in the central part of Wisconsin and welcome to Cindy's Stamping Studio. I'm happy to be here. Um, I, while I wait for everybody to hop on, I want to go and set myself up on my Kindle and I hope everybody is um, enjoying the weather. Pretty cold here tonight. Seven degrees. I can't hardly believe it. But we knew it was coming eventually, right? Nothing much you can do about it. But it's okay. I looked on the extended forecast. We're going to be back into the 40s by next Monday. So it's not the, it's not so bad. I guess that's, there's a reason why we live in Wisconsin, right? Hi, Courtney. Thank you for joining me tonight. And thank you for sharing. Hi, Bernie. Nice to see you. I see Sally. Hi, Sally. Nice for you to join me. Um, as I wait for a couple more people to hop on, make sure you uh, leave me a comment so you get into my Facebook door prize drawing. And share my post if you're able. And um, hit the like key. All of this helps me build my business. And there's Linda. Thanks for joining me, Linda. So happy to see you too. Um, if you don't have time to watch it all, or if you would like a close-up picture of the card that I make tonight, along with a detailed uh, project recipe, go to my blog on Thursday. I always do a Facebook Live um, blog post and it gives you a close-up picture, the video, the project recipe. It's really kind of handy. And while you're at it, if you want to subscribe to my blog, that'd be even better. That would make me very happy, in fact. Um, that is listed under Cindy Stamping Studio. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that's listed under Cindy Ellers. Okay. All right, I want to just take this time so I don't forget to thank you for helping me support my small business and the best part-time job I've ever had. I appreciate you all so much, whether you're one of my downline, whether you're a customer, you're all very important to me. So, yeah, let's see, anybody else? Nope, okay. Uh, I hope everybody had a good week last week. I didn't realize it until I started writing it down. What did I do last week? Because it sure seemed like I was awfully busy. Um, we had our last Christmas card class and kit class last Tuesday. So all done with Christmas cards. And I'm kind of happy. When you think about it, I've been making Christmas cards since August. So I'm glad to be done with it. In fact, I got all of my Christmas cards addressed and stamps on the envelopes. They're ready to go in tomorrow's mail. So I'll be done with that. We got a Christmas tree up this weekend. I was happy to get that up. Of course, I don't have to do all this stuff all by myself. I have a lot of help from Jim, and I appreciate him so much. Hi, Sherry Martin. So glad to have you join us, and thank you for sharing also. I see Arliss Knoop and Debbie Vine are on here. Don't forget to say hi. Okay, what else did I have going on last week? Last Friday was Easton's birthday, and I always kid these kids. And I always say, well, how old are you, six? No, Grandma, I'm eight years old today. And I think to myself, oh, my gosh. How can you be eight? It's like yesterday. I remember when you were born. It's just crazy. I mean, you remember all of your grandkids when they were born and stuff. But with Easton, I was the babysitter for Andy because she was two. And at the time, Justin and Christy lived 45 minutes away. And I got the phone call at... I got the phone call about 10 o'clock that I should start heading over in the middle of a blizzard and icy roads. It was four wheel drive all the way. And I was so grateful to have my Ford Ranger at the time because it took me an hour and a half to get there. But 
we made it and everything worked out and the little guy is eight years old it was friday and saturday we got to go and celebrate tanner's birthday and thank you all for all of the birthday wishes for tanner he's three years old now i don't know how we ever managed without him although i wanted to have myself uh check to see if I was thinking clearly when we got Tanner because being a beagle he is a little stinker but he's been very good for Teddy so I'm glad we did that okay enough about me uh don't forget about the paper share I won't be able to order the papers until after the first of the year but if you want to get in on it you're going to want to go and send me an email or reply tonight and um, tell me to put you on the list because I only I'm down to um, I'm only I'm down to just a couple spots so that's um, that's filling up quite fast and we got Ronnie Kaiser Smith thank you for showing up and thanks for the compliment at my age I take them off <laughs> Okay, the paper share. You will get 66 pages of the spring designer series paper that will be in the January to June mini catalog. You're on the list, Linda. Yes, you were my first person. Um, there's 66 pages. I cut, I order a pack of every paper and then cut it down to six by six squares. And so a six by six square is big enough for a card or two because cut a little bit of it off. Okay, um, we have some beautiful paper coming out as always. Um, it makes it easier to say goodbye to the July, December mini catalog because there's so many fun things in the January to June catalog. Okay. I have some cards to show you tonight, um, and that is our December stamp of the month. You have until about the 15th of this month to get in on it if, you, if you're so inclined. Um, the stamp of the month was Mary Snowflakes. Very pretty. I'll be using that uh, stamp set. It's more than just Christmas because it's snowflakes. Okay, I just want to tell you if you're interested in my vertical technique class, I started cutting cards today and um, it's going to be a fun class. The technique, you ask. I have that wrote down. It's right here. The technique is called Stamping Blends Alcohol Technique. We're going to create um, a great background using the blends and um, I figured out what the name of it was Arliss aqua painters now they call it water painters but they used to back in the day call them aqua painters we'll be using that also so if you're interested if you live locally we would love to have you join us if you live far away I do a virtual um, technique class and that's also for people that can't make it that live close they just want to stay home and what you get for you will get a um, YouTube video link it's a private video and I will show you how to make the cards and do the technique um, you can make the cards while I am making them or not I send you three card kits two technique cards, one fancy fold. It includes the card bases, the layers, the white card stock for the inside, the die cuts, embossed images, embellishments and ribbons, envelopes, a collector card that details the technique, and fancy fold instructions. And I can give you a sneak peek at the fancy fold because I got that one done today. I want to work on the technique tomorrow for the rest of the week, okay? You'll be able to access the video whenever you want, 
and the cost of this cl class is $15, and that includes postage. I have, so um, if you're interested, let me know. You'd like to participate, Linda. Wonderful. I am so glad to hear that. I will um, I will put you on my list. I'll be getting the, uh, the kits ready this week. And hopefully, maybe Saturday or Sunday, I can record the video and get that out, out in the mail. Our in-person class is next week, Tuesday, December 14th. Okay, that's everything in my, everything in my, um, I have a file folder now, so I don't forget to tell you things. And I just found out today, because stamping out, stamping up sent me an email, so I was all excited to see that, but set your alarm for Wednesday, December 8th, free shipping, free, so if you need to st uh, stock up on anything, or if there's a bundle you've had your eye on, um, Wednesday's the day to place your order. I, you'll see my host code when I flip the camera around, and I'd be honored if you wanted to use me as your demonstrator. Don't forget about the Last Chance product from the current mini catalog. What's the date for the virtual technique? Um, Courtney, the date for the virtual technique is whenever you have time to do it. Because you can go and watch my YouTube video. I send the kits out, so once you get your kit, I would say that's when you do it. So I would say anytime next week. Because once you get your kit, you can go and gather your stamp sets and ink and adhesive and watch the video and see how the cards are made. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's working out pretty good. Um, we'd like to have you join us if you like. Um, back to the free shipping on Wednesday. The last chance sale, there are some items up to 50% off plus free shipping. Oh my gosh, right? That makes sense. Okay. Wow, what a great present from Stamping Up. It's just like Christmas, right, Linda? That's what I say. Okay, I have cards to show you. I am going to flip my camera around. Okay, Whew. that was a mouthful. And we are going to go and give out our door prizes. Maybe I should do that first. I will. Um, four comments. And I'll show you that. But for comments, we have a winner. And the winner for comments is Sally Becker. And because Sally doesn't stamp, I always put together some cards. I'm going to send her six birthday cards. And she can send them out to her friends and family and enjoy them. Sally is a cousin and found me. And she's been watching my weekly Facebook Live since I started. So that's really nice. Okay. And for sharing. And she is on, I think. At least she, yep, she is. For sharing. Let me find the present. Hmm. I got it. I got it here. Oh, yeah. I have some sequins. Snowflake sequins. I'm going to be sending these out to Sherry Martin. Now, Sherry, I don't know if I have your address, but if you could send me a personal message with your address just to be on the safe side, okay? Um, so, Sherry Martin, you're my winner for sharing. And Sally Becker, you're my winner for um, comments. Okay, let me put this behind me right there. And there we go. Flip the camera. There we are. Okay. As you can see, my host code. All right. I'm going to raise it just a little bit. Whoopsie. 
a little bit tighter. I'm trying to leave it lower, but I know on an iPad or a Kindle, it might come across as blurry, but I notice on my laptop and my camera, it's clear. So I think that, I think I'm doing okay. I got different, um, I better go and shut off the sound. That's a good idea. Just a second. Bear with me. Yes, there we are. All right. I can move this closer. There. How's that? Okay. Don't forget, like I said, we have our last chance. And free shipping. This one's the most important, if you want my opinion, right? Okay. So... Put that over here. Here are the cards that Sally's going to get. She's going to get this, Masculine Happy Birthday. And in Wisconsin, Snow, Deer, Rabbits. Here's another Happy Birthday. Here's a fun chicken one. Some beautiful flowers. More flowers. And here's this one. So... You're welcome, Sally. I'm, I know you'll enjoy them, and I hope you use them. And thank you for sharing Bonnie and Courtney and Arliss and Kay. I am so glad to see that, because your best odds to win a door prize is by sharing. And not a lot of people share. I don't know why, but maybe they don't think about it at the time. I got my first, did you get, did you send out your Christmas cards yet? I got, like I said, I got mine ready, and I got my first Christmas card today. And that came to me from Corey Hand. She lives in Nilesville, and very pretty um, designer series paper that she used, and embossing folder. So, yeah, so I got my first card. I was happy for that. Last month, for November... Last month's winner of my $15 shopping spree is Peg Daly from Minnesota. So Peg, she knows about it, and hopefully she'll be getting in touch with me soon. Ooh, maybe by Wednesday I could get free shipping. Now that's a thought. So, oh, okay. I see you had a question, Bev. I'll get back to you after I'm done stamping tonight. How's that? Okay. Here are the cards from our November stamp of the month. It was this um, stamp set. The Merry Snowflakes. And, of course, it's got coordinating stitch snowflake dies. Like I said, it is still available if you want to buy the stamp set or just the cards. Just get in touch with me. Here's the second card. Here's the third card. And here's the fourth card. At the time when I was making them, I opted to make them all Christmas cards. I know I said that they don't have to be Christmas cards, but I was afraid that I wouldn't have enough Christmas cards to send out. And I am I used every single one, every card. So these are all extra for me. Because you never know. You have to have extra Christmas cards. That's what I think. All right. We have tonight's stamp set. is called Elegantly Said. And it's not Christmas, right? I, you know, I, like I said, I've been doing this for so long since August that I was ready for something else, really. Um, oh, there, that's much better. This, also, this stamp set also has a coordinating punch, elegant tag punch. This is very versatile. We have a birthday, anniversary, a thank you, a for you, and true love stories last forever would work really good excuse me, would work really good for a wedding. 
life has changed for you, but my love and support never will. That you could use for um, sympathy. So this is very, quite versatile. Um, plus with the punch, we're going to be using mint macaron and memento black. That's our ink for tonight. And I get my packet out. Ah, yeah, I don't even. Oh, you're glad that I'm using the set because you don't have it. Well, you know, I didn't know if I wanted it either, Linda, but I like it. And I've been looking around for ideas and there's a lot out there. So that's a good thing. We're going to use, we're going to make this a, a birthday card. I could have made it an anniversary card, but we'll make it a birthday. Okay, so here's our ink. We're going to use Mint Macaron as our card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're going to have a black layer. My layers are always four, four by five and a quarter. And the inside is three and three quarters by five. We have some scraps and we have two strips. One strip, they're both two by, two by, what are they? Two by five. They're both two by five, and you'll see in a minute what I'm going to do with them. So, okay, let's put this aside because we don't need this right now. And we're going to use our mint ink. And I need, I don't need my paper piercer, but I need some paper to keep it, um, to protect my work surface. We're going to go and stamp random flowers on my mint strip here. And I want them to go right off the edge. And I know a lot of times I don't stamp all of the flowers, but tonight is different. I want this whole thing covered with flowers. There. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp a flower right in the middle of my white piece and you'll see why as we go and I'll put that over here for now and we're going to take our black our black we're going to take our mint and I'm going to get my my cutter there and as I told you this is a two two by um, five, I want to cut this in strips. As you can see, I put a mark. The strips I want to cut are going to be five eighths. Whoops, not the score. Okay, got one. Hopefully I do this right. Just like so. And I did. Oh, I'm happy. Keep them in order. That's all I needed. Okay, now I'm going to take my black layer. And I'm going to take my glue. And I want to put 
this. On my black layer. I kept them in order. Yep, I kept them in order. So hopefully, Alrighty. Just an easy and different way. Hopefully I got it close enough. And if I didn't, I'm going to have to cut some off. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, well, we got to cut some off. My sample card, I, I ran into issues also. But that's okay. That is why we have a cutter. A little bit more. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right. Notice I got a lot of glue residue on my cutter. Not quite sure what's going on there. There we go. See, we're going to put that right there. Mm hmm. Now we're going to put that right there. All right. So there's our front. Let's get that right on our card base oh, looks like we got some blurriness going on there's our, for our but my Kindle is clear oh now it's clear okay just when I threaten it get ready to because it's being naughty we're going to take a scrap of mint macaron and cut one and we're gonna take I got a beagle that's being giving me issues Not quite sure. That dog sometimes. I swear. Okay. Where am I? Right here. Okay. We cut one in mint. We cut one in white. And I want to get my black. Memento black. And... He keeps coming in. I don't want him to come in. They always wait until you're doing something important to be naughty. Okay, so I stamped wishing you a wonderful birthday. Okay. And, oh, that's what I forgot to do. Well, I'll do that at the end. Now I'm going to take my mint tag and I'm going to cut it in half, like so. And I must have ink on my fingers, but that's why there's two sides. I'll put a little glue on here. And we're going to put this like so and put a little glue right here and this one will go 
right there. All right. That's going to go right there. And we'll put a we'll put some dimensions on it. Oh, it looks like it moved on me. Yeah, it's okay. All right. I just got a little frustrated from the dog, but that's okay. He'll be fine. Okay, let's take our backing off. And I'm going to put that right there, just like so. Not done yet. I have some mint um, textile ribbon. I'm going to use, I'm going to use approximately, if I find my piece of paper, six inches. get this. I got too much stuff on my desk, I guess. All right. Approximately six inches. Of course, I'm lost without my guide. I thought this was very really pretty ribbon. And I'm going to go and tie my cheater's knot tie kind of snugly and go and cut my loop give it a nice tug and get my glue dots out and I use glue dots to put my ribbon on my card and let's just trim this up a bit this one can go this way this one can go that way and we have a nice there we go pretty pretty ribbon now let's I have some mint gems I think it's from a couple years ago and that's okay but there's not enough for I want to use them on this card because there's not enough here to do it much of anything with like that okay so that's the outside of our card and Let's do the inside. The inside is going to say, all things you do are simply amazing. Let's stamp that. Thank you, Bernie. All things you do are simply amazing. Just like so. And get our mint back out. And there, that's going to be for the inside. Let me put a little glue on it. Okay. There, that's our inside. And there's our outside. And that's our card. 
it really turned out very nice, even though I had a couple of difficulties um, getting that white piece on there, but it all worked out in the end, and that's what's important. Now, what I forgot to show you and tell you for our technique class, and you can do it virtually, I just want to show you a little bit of a sneak peek. We'll be using vellum, white cardstock. We'll be using blends and the aqua painter with alcohol in it. Then I lost a, oh, there's the cover. So anyway, if you're interested, pop me a message and I will get you added to the list. Like I said, it'll be available once, you, I mean, you can make your cards once you get the card kits. And I gotta show you, because it turned out so stinking cute. This is what the fancy fold looks like. Look at that, isn't it cute? I love it. This is a gift card holder. I thought it turned out so nice using the whimsy and wonderful um, designer series paper. Here's the other one I made. So if you want to get in on the virtual um, technique class, go and um, get me a message. I'll add you to the list. I can I can take um, I can take PayPal or you can send me a check. So yeah. Okay, here's our card. Thank you for sticking with me. And um, thank you for uh, joining me tonight. Join me next Monday night. I'll have another really cute card for us. Sometimes I just amaze myself with how well they turn out. But I guess that's the whole art of stamping, right? Have a wonderful rest of the week. And happy stamping.